Immigration and Customs Enforcement is considering releasing thousands of immigrants in detention to cover a budget shortfall. ABC 10 News reporter Nia Watson is joining us now with a look at the potential impact that we could feel right here along the border. Kimberly, I'm here outside of the Otay Mesa Detention Center where hundreds of immigrants are being held. The Department of Homeland Security says border cities like San Diego could suffer due to a lack of funding, but an immigrant rights advocate I spoke with disagrees. I think it's a good thing. I think that people should not be detained on civil violations. Pedro Rios is with the American Friends Service Committee, a human rights organization. The website tracked by Syracuse University shows ICE has held more than 38,000 people in detention as of January 28th. Some of them are because they have uh, tried multiple times to cross. And so as a result of that, they have been um, sanctioned with a criminal violation. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have said immigration reform is needed to help with the surge of migrants at the southern border. But last week, the Senate failed to pass a bill that would have given $6 billion to ICE, addressing a $700 million budget deficit, the Washington Post reported. It says ICE is considering cutting costs by decreasing detention levels from 38,000 beds to 22,000. In a statement to ABC 10 News, the Department of Homeland Security would not confirm plans to release detainees. Instead, it said, quote, Congress rejected the bipartisan national security bill out of hand, which will put at risk DHS's current removal operations, put further strain on our already overtaxed workforce, and make it harder to catch fentanyl at ports of entry. But Rios says the department does not need more funding. This idea that they need more money to enforce immigration laws just is uh, wild. It's not uh, accurate and doesn't represent what communities along the border would want to see. Rios says if detainees were to be released, the county should not be concerned about dozens of migrants being on the streets. He says many of the immigrants being held in detention have places to go. Because they have been in the country for some time, those connections have already been made. It's not unlike someone who just arrived and might not know where to go or where the family is. DHS added the lack of funding would also increase the asylum backlog, which currently stands at over 1 million cases. Live in Otay Mesa, Nia Watson, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Nia.